Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Classic Times. Today we will be going through stage two of the Cambridge Latin course and I will be introducing the nominative and accusative case. OK, let's begin. First of all, nouns are people, places and things. Examples of which include Metella, Caecilius and Mercator. Latin is what's known as an inflected language. This means that the ends of Latin verbs change, which also changes the meaning. Different forms of nouns are known as cases. The case of a noun determines its role within the sentence. The nominative case is used to describe the subject of the verb, i.e. the person doing the verb, so it's the subject. Whereas the accusative is the object of the sentence, and it's used to describe the person having the verb done to it. The example below, Metella Quintum Salutat, means Metella greets Quintus, and this shows the nominative Metella and the accusative Quintus. Notice the letter M at the end of the accusative Quintum. This is what's known as the magic M, and it's a clue letter to spot the accusative case. The nominative and accusative case have various endings. Nominative endings include Metella, Caecilius and Mercator. And the accusative, as already mentioned, has the letter M to signify the accusative case. So Metellam, Caecilium, Mercatorem. Now that you've been introduced to the nominative and accusative cases, Let's look at some more vocabulary. Amicus is a friend. Anquila is a slave girl. Cana means dinner. Kibus is food. Dominus is a master. Dormit means sleeps. Intrat means enters. Litus is happy. Laudat means praises. Mercator is a merchant. Quoque is also. And finally, salutat means greets. Now let's have a look at some examples. Amicus Caecilium salutat. The friend greets Caecilius. Metella Kibum gustat. Metella tastes the food. Quintus Metellam laudat. Quintus praises Metella. Metella Culinam intrat. Metella enters the kitchen. Notice the role of the accusative and nominative cases in the sentences above. Let's have a look at a few more examples. Amicum Serum salutat. The friend greets the slave. Metella grumionem laudat. Metella praises grumio. Quintus canem laudat. Quintus praises the dog. Metella amicum wocat. Metella calls the friend. Now I would like you to translate the following two sentences to test your understanding. Firstly, Amicus canem salutat and Metella grumionem spectat. Pause the video now and have a go at these. OK, now let's discuss the translations. Amicus canem salutat. This means the friend greets the dog. Metella grumionem spectat. This means Metella watches grumio. Well done if you got both of those right. Now let's look at a passage from the Cambridge Latin course. In triclinio. Grumio 
Triclinium Indrat. Grumio enters the dining room. Grumio Pavonem Portat. Grumio carries the peacock. Clemens Triclinium Indrat. Clemens enters the dining room. Clemens Winum Portat. Clemens carries the wine. Caecilius Pavonem Gustat. Caecilius tastes the bird or peacock. Pavo est optimus, Caecilius clamat. The peacock is excellent, shouts Caecilius. Mercator quoque pavonem gustat. The merchant also tastes the peacock. Mercator canam laudat. The merchant praises the dinner. Dominus coquum laudat. The master praises the cook. Grumio exit. Grumio goes out. Anquila intrat. The slave girl enters. Anquila suawita cantat. The slave girl sings sweetly. Anquila dominum delectat. The slave girl pleases the master. Anquila mercatorem delectat. The slave girl pleases the merchant. Mox dominus dormit. Soon the master sleeps. Amicus quoque dormit. The friend also sleeps. Grumio triclinium intrat et circumspectat. Grumio enters the dining room and looks around. Coquus kibum in mensa videt. The cook sees food on the table. Grumio kibum consumit et vinum bibit. Grumio eats the food and drinks the wine. Caecilius grumionem non videt. Caecilius does not see Grumio. Coquus in triclinio magnifice canat. Now this sentence seems to be missing a verb in the textbook here, so let's just imagine that there's a consume it at the end of the sentence, so it makes sense. And that would mean the cook eats the dinner in the dining room in style. Coquus anquilam spectat. The cook watches the slave girl. Anquila grumionem delectat. The slave girl pleases Grumio. Grumio anquilam delectat. Grumio pleases the slave girl. Grumio est litissimus. Grumio is very happy. Now, litissimus here at the end of the story, meaning very happy, is what's known as a superlative, but I will talk more about those in a later video. Okay, so we've now covered stage two of the Cambridge Latin course. Let's have a quick summary. So Latin is an inflected language where the endings of verbs change to change the meaning. The nominative case is the subject of the sentence. The accusative case is the object of the sentence. And finally, you've been introduced to a few more words. Join me in next video where I will be covering stage three of the Cambridge Latin course.